Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. So welcome to the final lab that we'll be having in control systems. And this is the PID controller design. Here the references control systems engineering 6th edition book by Norman Nice, which is your book and the objectives are to perform a trade-off study for lead compensation and to design a PI controller and its uh, and see its effect upon steady state error. The softwares that are required are MATLAB, Sizer Toolbox, which is basically the control system toolbox. Uh, you can see that the control system designer app, which is the Sizer Toolbox, it lets us design a single input, single output size of controllers for feedback systems modeled in MATLAB or Simulink. Uh, using this toolbox, we can design controllers using interactive board, a root locus, and graphical editors for adding, modifying, and removing controllers, poles, and zeros and gains. Um, it also helps in automated PID tuning, optimization based tuning and also it helps to analyze control systems designs using time domain and frequency domain responses such as step responses and pole zero maps. Uh, what is a PID controller and uh, what's the theory behind it I have already explained in the controllers video that I have uploaded for you guys so we'll move forward you are aware of this table that what is a PID controller and uh, what are the derivatives and the S domain equations furthermore this procedure has been explained already in the uh, designing a controller using Sizer toolbox video so I'll speak, uh, skip these uh, steps as you know I've already explained using an example uh, and the video proof for you now we'll move to the lab tasks. The lab tasks are using the Sizer design tool, create the design in pre-lab 3 and plot the root locus. You have to use the Sizer design tool and it would be very easy. There would be no difficulty. I hope so. So uh, what's pre-lab 3? Let's see. Pre-lab 3 says uh, design a lead compensator for a unity feedback system with forward transfer function this okay this is our forward transfer function and we have to meet the following spe specifications that is percentage overshoot 20 percent settling time two seconds and required gain k should be specified for these specifications along with the lead compensator that you choose okay and you don't need to do this estimate the validity of second order approximation uh, take data to determine the percentage overshoot, settling time and step and ramp steady state errors, record the gain K. Okay, so that would be pretty easy. Now repeat lab 1 for each of the designs in pre-lab 5. Okay, so it says pre-lab 5 says determine the pole and zero of two more elite compensators that will meet the requirements of pre-lab 3. Okay, you don't need to do two more you need to do only one more okay I'm editing the task you need to do one more lead compensator that will meet the requirements of PLAB 3 you don't need to uh, look out for two more lead compensators so the task number two has been changed and now for task number three for the design selected in PLAB 8 use the design uh, size of design tool and insert the PI controller okay plot the step response and measure the percentage overshoot settling time and steady state error also plot the ramp response for the design and measure the steady state error now you need to see the prelab 8 select one of the lead compensator designs uh, and specify a pi controller that can be cascaded with the lead compensator such that it will produce a system with a zero steady state error for both stamp uh, step and ramp inputs okay so you need to look out one of the for one of the designs that you had uh, selected over here and i have already told you that you don't need to go for two more you need to go for one more lead compensator and after that you after that uh, design that you have selected you need to specify a pi controller that will be inserted to uh, yield a zero steady state error for both step and ramp inputs so that is uh, this task is also reduced to only one of the compensators and the fin uh, final task is that you need to plot the step and ramp responses for two more values of the PI controller zero so uh, this task has been excluded 
you don't need to do this you on, only you have to do first three tasks and uh, in fact the task number two has been changed too and uh, if the task number two has been changed you know, we know that task number three is also changed because we'll will be having only one lead compensator so this is for this lab, uh, mm, I hope that uh, it would be clear and it won't be much difficult. That's all for this lab. Um, take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.